how to show multiple views of one database in one page in Notion. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how you can show multiple views of your database in one page in Notion so you can have an overview of your database. So for example, here I have my database geared towards project management. So this tutorial will be especially helpful for you who want to make a simple project dashboard. Okay, so let's get right into it. So as you can see here, I have my database in table view to see an overall, overall look of my projects. And then I also have my calendar view, which also adds time context to my projects and my tasks. As you can see here, I will also tell you how to add the task property or the meetings tag. And lastly, I'm going to show you how you can show it in a timeline view. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'll add a new page here. So let's call it project dashboard, for example. And we're gonna call this database. Let's make a database. So forward slash in your keyboard and go ahead and type in view and add a table view and then let's click new database here okay so this database we will name it my projects all right to not be confused with the database that i've just made earlier and then let's rename this view here by right clicking it and click rename and let's rename this overview to make it clear that this database view is for overview okay so let's populate the database here for so for example i'm gonna just call it project one and project two and project three okay so Obviously, in a project, you will have smaller tasks that are more actionable for you to execute. So to add a subtask in our projects, let's go ahead and go click the three dot menu here. And let's turn on sub items. So click sub items and click turn on sub items. And as you can see here, the sub items are set to be um a sub item instead of a parent item you can also set it to be the parent item under the sub items here if you have a task for example to complete multiple projects this is more useful for you but in this case i'm just going to stick to sub item under the parent item which in this case the parent item is the project and the sub items are the tasks okay so let's set it to hidden so if you set your sub items to hidden what it really means is that you can toggle to view or hide your sub items in your project so let's go ahead and add a few sub items in our project one here for example maybe task one and task two and then also meeting one let's do the same thing for project two here, task one, and let's just call this meeting one. All right, so for the next step, we're going to add a calendar view here, but before we do that, let's be sure that we add a tag for our subtask here. So what we wanna do is we add tags only for our sub items here. So for example, let's add the tag to be task, and meetings so that's all but really you can add more so for example you can have onboarding you can have maybe a closing or etc okay so let's label this as task this task and meeting obviously meeting and let's label this task as also task tag and meetings okay so now you have your um, sub items be tagged all right, so the next thing that we want to do is we add a date for the deadlines and the time frame. So we'll just call this time frame. So let's add a new property 
called time frame and we change the type to date. All right. So now let's go ahead and set a time frame for our project here. So I'm just going to do it for project one here just to demonstrate you. So for example, project one will start from, let's toggle end date. Um, it will start from today to the following Friday. So let's do that. And then for task one, we're going to do it tomorrow to, let's add an end date also to the day after tomorrow. And let's say task two will be completed just right after you complete task one. And then the meeting will be somewhere one day before the completion of the project. Okay, so that's just for example. Okay, so the next thing here is we add another view of our main database here, which is the My Projects database. So let's go ahead and go to your keyboard and type forward slash and type in view. We'll want to add a calendar view. And in this calendar view, we will choose the My Projects database here in the project dashboard page. So let's go ahead and click My Projects. And as you can see here, it now will add a view of your My Projects database. All right, so we want this to be a calendar. So let's change this view by clicking the view and click Edit View. And let's change the layout to be calendar. And there you go. Now, as you can see here, now we have two views of My Project database. One is the overview and the other is my project. So let's go ahead and rename this view type to calendar. And now we have the calendar view and the overview. Okay, so as you can see here, the project one is displayed, but I feel like the calendar view is better suited for you to show the tasks instead. So to change the um, what's view, what's shown in the calendar view. Let's go ahead and filter what you want to show here by clicking the filter button here. And let's filter by tags. And this is why adding tags is important for your sub items because we want to filter out the projects and show the sub items instead, which are the only type of um, items that you have in your database that have tags. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So it's not shown yet. What we need to do is we show the sub items here. So instead of hidden, like the previous view that we have, which is our main database, we want to show it. All right, so now it is shown. And as you can see here, it all automatically shown. Now, another thing that we want to show is the let's switch the sub item to be the top part here so let's change it to parent item and what it does is that it shows in the calendar which project does the task belongs to okay perfect now we have our calendar view let's go ahead and add the timeline view okay so same thing for forward slash click view and let's click timeline view and go to my projects, click my projects and let's change this view to timeline view, layout and click timeline. All right. Now, rather than showing the task, I think the um, timeline view is better for you to show your project. So let's go ahead and change it now. Now, what we want to do is we just switch the sub items to the parent item. Let's switch place, let's switch the two over. And now we have our projects listed in the timeline view. So, all right, so let's go ahead and rename this to timeline. So, I think what makes this template that I've made here that I show you here is so powerful because it not only adds clarity to your project, it also gives you 
a bird's eye view of your ongoing projects so that you can have a good list of your projects. You can track it. You can also add a completion um, status here if you want by adding a um, select property. And then you can have time context in your calendar so you know what to do in that day every time. And then you can see your projects in a timeline view here. So for example, well, for February, you can see that I have project one here, but if I have an overlapping project, I can also, um, I can also manage my time accordingly. So let's add, for example, let's add a completion date here for project two. So let's say the project two will start when project one is still ongoing and it will end just a week about a week after project one ends. Okay, so let's go ahead and click and set the time frame for project two. And when we go back to the timeline view, you can see project two will start from the middle of project one. And it's, it's, it's not communicated as clearly if you only see it in one view over here. You have to read and decipher what the time frame a uh, property means. However, if you show it in the timeline view, it's clear as day. So that is all from me. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you very much.